Hello, today I'm going to read you a book called How Mountain Are Made by Kathleen Whitener Zofield, illustrated by James Graham Hill. <clears throat> On Saturday, sometimes we go mountain climbing. We follow a trail through a thick forest. At first, the climb is easy. Then it gets steeper and steeper. We stop on a rock ledge halfway up and eat our lunch. When we eat, when we start out again, we have to tap, walk more slowly. The slope is getting very steep. The forest is thinning now, and the trees are so shorter. We can see the top of the mountain, but it seems to take forever to get there. Then we reach the top. We can see out in every direction. There are hardly any trees up here, and the land is rocky. <clears throat> we spend a long time looking at the rocks. Here's one with the shape of a shell, seashell in it. Fossils are the remains of animals that lived millions of years ago. This mountain is more than 4,000 feet high. That's nearly a mile. There are no ocean up, oceans up there. How did a sea animal get to the top of this mountain? The earth is always changing. Only mount, old mountains disappear. They are run away by ice, rain, and flowing water. New mountains form where there were no mountains before. You can't see the changes appear, happening, though. Mountains are built up and run down gradually over hundreds and million of years. When we look at look at the earth, all we'll see are rocks and soil and the trees and other plants growing in the soil. But if we go look inside this earth <coughs> the surface of the earth is the first layer. It is made of soil and the rocks we see around us all the time. Just under the surface is a rocky layer, about 35 miles thick, called the Earth's crust. Beneath the crust is a layer of rock called the mantle. The crust and the upper layer of the mantle together from a hard as shell called the lithosphere. The lithosphere is broken into pieces called the plates. The plates are huge. There are eight major matter plate, plates and several small ones. Under the outer shell is a layer of hot, partly melted rock that is softer and can flow slowly like honey. The rock plates flow on top of his major layer. The major layer contains some molten rock called magma. The Earth's plates are always in motion. They have been moving for hundreds of millions of years. Most scientists believe that all of the mountains on Earth were formed by slow movements in the Earth's outer shell. The mountains in different parts of the world look very different from one another. That's because in different parts of the earth, the outer shell moves in different ways. In some places, two plates press each other. The tremendous pr pressure, pressure forces the crust to leave the fold over itself. Great waves of rock are pushed up. Ice and water cut through the folds to form sharp, craggy mountains. Sometimes the crust does not fold or crack. Sometimes magma pushes through 
a vent in a solid rock layer. It collapses in a pocket up under the crust. The pocket of magma grows larger until it bends the crust upward. When this happens, a high gale is formed. Rain and ice wash away the subtle rocks above, and rounded peaks and valleys appear. In a few places on Earth, plates are moving away from one another. This usually happens deep under the oceans. The when it hits the cool ocean water, the magma becomes solid. Great underwater mountain ranges are built up. Once in a while, a small crack or vent forms in the lithosphere, sometimes right in the middle of a plate. Right how magma pushes up through the crack when it gets to the surface of the earth, the magma cools and hardens. Lava and ash build up from the crack, making the land higher and higher. A cone-shaped volcan volcanic mountain is formed. Most volcanic mountains are formed in places where one plate pushes under another. As the edge of the one plate sinks, the solid rock of the plate's edge melts in the intense heat. The melted rock or magma rushes up through the weak places in the crust above. In fiery blasts, lava is thrown into the, onto the Earth's surface. It cools and hardens, and mountains are built. Some mountains have been around for hundreds of and of millions of years. Others are still being built up right now. Scientists have a special way of telling the age of a fossil. This one is nearly two, 280 million years old. It died, sank to the, to the bottom, and was buried in sand and mud. It must have been buried sometimes, sometimes just before our mountain began to be burned. So, we know that the land ha here began to rise around 280 million years ago. From the shape of this mountain, we can tell it formed by a folding of the crust. Two huge plates slowly pressed against each other. The land rose higher and the sea disappeared. Over millions of years, the crust folded up in a tremendous wave. This mountain and the other mountains around our town were once much higher than they are now. They are sharp and craggy. Now they are lower and smoother. For millions of years, rain, ice, and flowing water have worn out mountains down. Millions of years from now, the rain, ice, and flowing water will have worn them down completely. Mount Everest is a young mountain. It is still sharp and craggy, and it is still being pushed up higher. Ma Mount Everest may be growing as much as two inches each year. The end. Bye.